Staring out across generations, this unknown woman from Senegal is a groundbreaker for New York's Metropolitan Museum of Art. Her portrait and its glass negative taken in 1910 is part of the museum's first ever exhibition of African photography. We don't know who that photographer might have been, but the presence, the self-assurance, uh, the gaze, the way this uh, woman, the sitter, is presenting herself is very powerful. With nearly 80 pictures on display, from formal studio shots of people dressed in their best to more theatrical modern poses, the curators show how conventional portraits starting in the 19th century gradually evolved in setting and style by the 1970s. This exhibition shows the development of West African photography from the late 1800s to the late 20th century. But more importantly, it also shows what happens when the technology of photography is taken out of the hands of colonial artists and put into the hands of West Africans themselves. One of the goal of the exhibition was to show that from the moment that photography arrived as a technology on the continent, African photographers appropriated it following local conventions of portraiture, but also learning from the European photographers who were active in the region. The exhibition is really about how individuals chose to represent themselves in West Africa. It is uh, mostly African photographers and sitters who kind of collaborate in order to show an image of themselves. And that idea of getting beyond the colonial European view of Africa is what's been most striking for many visitors. I thought what was really important about the exhibit was that uh, it, all of the photographs were done by African uh, photographers and so many times you just see it from the, the European gaze and I, I think that was the, the main draw of the exhibition. Just as they were for Europeans, these early photos were cherished by West Africans kept in albums, sent to friends. And they also began a tradition, opening the door for generations of later photographers, such as Mali's Seydou Keita and Malik Sidibe, whose works are now collected as art and hang on the walls of one of the world's largest museums. Lorna Shadek, CCTV, New York.